This is PandaCanDo.com, makers of the PandaCan survival tents. We also sell Silum products, the military supplier for chemical lights. When we make another video, we'll be showing you that, uh, showing these active. This is a red SciPad. SciPads are designed to be written on with a marker. This whole area will glow. You take this and as it shows on the back, you put a thumb here, a thumb there, and you press and break the inner capsule. This back part peels off and there's an adhesive in here. You can stick this to a person's chest or their arm as a badge. Use it to mark uh, for triage or mark fellow uh, soldiers or team members. They also use these for uh, room marking, just as you would break a chemical stick and throw it on the floor to mark a, uh, a room as being cleared or uncleared in uh, sweep and clear maneuvers. Just the same, you can use these, but put them at eye level or chest level, stick it to the, the frame of a door or a wall, and use red or green to, uh, to tell the difference between uh, what's been cleared and not. Soldiers also wear these on their arms to identify themselves in maneuvers. And like I say, you can take a marker and write over it, and it'll glow in the dark, and you'll be able to see the, the writing as well. PandaCanDo.com, this is Ray, and we're doing a live demonstration of our Silum chemical light sticks. So we're going to go ahead and crack this with one hand if we can. There she goes. Now on my screen, this is looking blue, but in person, this is a nice uh, radioactive uh, green color. I think that one's fully mixed. Crack them, shake them up. I have to say this is pretty hard to crack, so I don't think these are going to uh, go off on you by accident, which is good. Um, but easy enough to crack, of course, I was able to do it in one hand. You kind of see it spreading there, so I haven't shaken it yet. Get the idea of the uh, of the spread. That one's not mixing real good, so I'll come back to it. Something to note about these. Uh, sticks is you have to keep them in these packages to um, protect them from light because UV light will damage them and, and shorten their uh, life expectancy so they come in these sort of mylar packets but if you're storing it in the tin you could uh, trim down a piece of the mylar or um, wrap them in a little piece of paper to cut down on packaging or just you know don't keep them at the bottom of the tin and don't you know open the tin in the sunlight too much and they'll probably be fine now this isn't as bright as it shows on the camera yet and it's a little darker blue than I'm seeing here on the camera screen and the red doesn't match this packaging it's definitely not the salmon pink it's more of a little bit on the pinkish side but more kind of a pink purple red and I think it'll show up better when I kill the lights here and we're gonna go ahead and crack these oh there it's spreading 
with these ones you crack it and then you're supposed to sort of move it around and they've updated this these are the new versions which now have little key little punch outs here where you can you can uh, punch out a little circle there and there's a little tab and that way you can have it on a lanyard hook it to some paracord this has a little capsule like those in the center with one of the agents in it and you crack it when you bend it like I did and then the, the gel mixes I'll set that one down for a second let it mix on its own for a moment see how easy this is to crack Let's see if I can do it from this side They have a protective layer inside of here that protects these from the um, from UV light, protects that inner uh, capsule. I take it, so that's that's why you're not seeing it come through all the way because it's working its way around that inner inner package. These ones I don't think shake up as well because they're um, well, they do shake up well. And again, the, the camera is showing this is a blue, but this is definitely a radioactive green. That works good. You can kind of flick it with your wrist to swing the chemical into the side that's not reacting. See now that side's reacting. There's a little corner that's not reacting. So I'll flick it. Use gravity to push it into the corner and see if this picks it up in the if this camera still works in the dark now these haven't fully mixed I can see that better off camera than you can see, but that little dark patch there that just filled in is a lot darker on here. And the camera's showing this different. There's no orange layer there like it's showing on the camera. In person, there's just a little dark patch in the center because of the um, right where the logo is. The rest is plenty bright. And these are pretty good. I have the light on both sides. I can see it. You can kind of see it there on the tin. I'm actually getting a little bit of a flashlight effect there where I can I can light up this very dark room with these. And I'll be back. Took the opportunity to shake these up a little bit better. You can see they're much better mixed now going out to the edges, quite a bit brighter. And interesting effect, I didn't know how bright these side pads would be. And these side pads, I don't think the camera shows it, but I'm actually lighting up the room I'm in. There's a mirror over here. And you might get an idea. Probably not. I'll try and put a little bit of room, light in this room and see if partial lighting helps. partial light you can sort of see this wall and you can see me lighting up that wall and in person that is much brighter and you could you could find stuff on the ground with this